Partizan players were defeated by Mornar Impact, Topolica Hall, budućnost was better than Igokea in a game played in Laktaši. Crvena zvezda made an easy victory against Krka and Mega continued their winning streak against Sedevita in Zagreb. In an exciting game played in Železnik, FNP won after overtime against Cibona, while Olympia won against Zadar on their home court. As usual at the end of the show, you'll see top 5 plays of the round. Welcome to ABBA magazine. Kirka strengthened their roster by signing Blaž Maković, occasional member of national team of Slovenia, spent last season in Helios, where he was the second scorer of the national championship. He has vast experience in ABBA league, playing for Olympia and Igokea. In the reminder of season, Olympia will be stronger for Scotty Reynolds. Experienced playmaker returns to ABBA league, where he used to play for Cibona. Reynolds was second best assister with almost seven assists per game. Former Villanova player had spells in Czech Republic, Turkey and Italy, and last season he played for Zenit from St. Petersburg. Since they couldn't agree on terms with Glenn Davis, Zadar strengthened their center line by bringing William McGarity. This 2011 centimeters tall center has American and Sweden citizenship since he played for Sodertal team. McGarity signed a three year contract. In Topolica Hall in Bar, we saw a game between two teams that represent ABBA League in Euro Cup. In one of the most beautiful games of the season so far, Mornar won 97-94 and for the third time in a row won a league game against Partizan. The game was marked by excellent Nemanja Vranješ, who made all five of his shots beyond 6.75. More important, Vranješ scored in a very important moments for his team and he was sure in a finish of the game from the free throw line when his team had to keep the lead. First half uh, was won by Mihailo Pavićević's team. They took control with a 13-0 run in first couple of minutes, so visitors from Belgrade had to chase the score during the entire length of the game. Nenad Čanak's team uh, tried uh, to mount a comeback in the first period, but that was uh, thwarted uh, by home team's three-point shots. That was uh, by far the strongest weapon uh, for the champions of Montenegro. They scored 12 out of uh, 23 three-point attempts and their two-point shot rate was great too. The black and white were unable to stop the home team during the first half uh, at a point they had an 18-point deficit. Coach Chanak's team didn't give up despite double-digit deficit. After the break, visiting team tried to make a comeback, but their attacks were stopped by distance shots made by Vranješ and Bronson Canning. When Morner got a plus 15 lead with just over 8 minutes left to play, it seemed that home team will easily make their first win of the season, but Partizan just wouldn't give up. Georgi Gagic played an excellent last period. He allowed Partizan to consider a possibility of a huge turnaround and Marcus Page once again showed that he thrives in tense finishes. When he scored for free, visiting team got to minus one, but uh, MVP of this round of ABBA league, Nemanja Vranješ, made sure that points stayed in bar. He made all uh, six of his uh, free throws for a total of 26 points. To that uh, he added five rebounds and three assists. Bronson Canning uh, had a best game since he joined Monar. With 23 points, uh, five assists and four rebounds, he was up uh, there with Vranješ. Uroš Luković played uh, predictably well uh, with 12 points, uh, seven rebounds and three blocks. In Partizan's first ABBA league defeat of the season, most efficient player was Đorđe Gagić with 23 points, while Page scored three points less.
Cervena Zvezda continued the, their unbeaten streak with a win against Krka. Home team won in Aleksandar Nikolic call. Final score was 80-66. Visiting team was without Marko Yoshilo and they managed to be equal opponent only during first three minutes. That was followed by a 10-0 run by Red and Whites, once again led by Billy Baron. American scored seven points of that 10-point run. Milan Tomic's players weren't in a shooting mood but managed to control a result via easy two-point conversation as well as with a good free throw percentage. On the other end, the champions of ABBA second league had a lot of problems on both ends of the court. Especially in offense during the first half with a very modest shooting percentage. While in the defense they struggled to stop champion of Serbia who ended the first period with 29 points scored. Little changed in the second period so home team advantage continued to rise uh, all the way to their biggest lead of plus 19. And uh, at the end, uh, at the half time, a break score was 46-32. Krka started a bit better in the third period and with the help of Marinelli and Lapornik managed to get to single-digit deficit. But next seven points were scored by the home team that routinely controlled the rest of the game. Coach Milan Tomic used this to eventually distribute minutes among players, so all 12 of them managed to score points in this game. Dusan Ristic left a very good impression and allowed Zvezda to get to 20 points lead. Young center was one of the three players that scored in double digits for the winning team. He and Reglan scored 10 points each and only Baron was more efficient with 13. Most efficient player of the game comes from Novo Mesto's team. Paolo Marinelli scored 15 points, 7 assists and 4 rebounds. Lapornik and Laric ended the game with 10 points each. As in the Super Cup game three weeks ago, Budućnost won Nila Klaši against the home team of Igokea. Current champion won 85-78. Coach Jikic's team lead almost the entire game. Only in the second half of the first period, the home team managed to get the lead. Led by Zubčić and Nenad Trajković's team managed to make a turnaround from minus 6 to 22-20 lead at the first two-minute break. But in the first eight minutes of the second quarter, they only managed to score six points, while current champion managed to get a double-digit lead. Unlike previous games, Euroleague team from Podgorica managed to score from distance mostly by Koti Clark, with a five of eight for three points. Unlike a visiting team, Forigokea only Zubčić managed to score from beyond the 6.75 line, and by the end of the game, Domen Lorbeck managed to do it so. Few times the team from Podgorica had a chance to break the game, but home team always found a way to get back in the match. Budućnost had a 15 points lead at the beginning of the last period and it seems as the game was already won. But team from Aleksandrovac managed to make a 15-2 run in just a few minutes and get to 75-73. Maybe we would see a real drama in Laktashi if Orbeck managed to score an open shot for 3 points or if Zubčić managed to get it in uh, after offensive rebound. No matter the missing shots, visiting team was sure from the free throw line and won the game. Most efficient player was Koti Clark with 19 points, two more than Nemanja Gordić who had six assists. With them Earl Clark had double digit points, scoring 10. Even though Igokea lost their second home game in a row, Tomislav Zubčić will be remembered by his good game. Home team's uh, guard uh, scored 6 out of 7 three-point attempts for his uh, 32 points, 10 rebounds and 4 steals. Lešić scored 12 and Young Talic also played very well scoring just one less. The youngest ABBA league team powers on through the competition. Mega Bemax defeated Cedevita 95-86 in Dražen Petrović Hall. Dejan Milović's team reached their third victory in as many games and they are sharing the top spot in the standings with Crvena Zvezda. For this game Cedevita had to do it without Filip Krušlin who injured his knee. Things seemed to be looking up for Cedevita after a few good games, but Cito Alonso's team suffered another defeat at home court. After three rounds of games, uh, they have uh, only a single win to their name. In an extremely efficient first quarter, the guests scored easy points. 
but on the other side Goga Bitadze had an excellent game resulting in 27 points in the first part of the game. Andrija Stipanović got Cedevit going in the second quarter and James Bell's shot was working perfectly, so the half-time score was 47-47. After a terrible round 2 game against FMP and a poor first half in Zagreb, Kosti Mushidi finally showed what he was made of in the third quarter. He scored 8 points in a row with two three-pointers. Mega started the final quarter with a 5-point lead, 73-68. It was another three-pointer from Mushidi that led the guests into a double-digit lead. The team from Zagreb was struggling to find a good game plan throughout the match, but with their disastrous three-shot percentage 15 out of 33, they were no match for their opponent. They managed to reduce Mega's lead to six points at the end of the game, but Ognjen Čarapić was the one who had the last say. The young point guard was the best player of the winning team with 17 points. Bitaze scored double-double with 16 points and 13 rebounds, while Bell stood out for Cedevita with 15 points. Olympia ended the series of three defeats in all competitions with an ABBA League triumph. They defeated Zadar 91-81 in Stožice Hall, handing them their third loss in as many games. Slovenian team dominated throughout the game and their Croatian opponent wasn't able to steal the lead from them at any point. It was a fast-paced game from the beginning and after only 10 minutes, Zoran Martic men held a 13-point lead. The second part of the game looked much different with a number of fouls breaking the flow. At this point, Božić was leading Zadar's play while Begić, Lapornik and Span were protecting the host's lead. The half-time score was 48-47, but after the game resumed, the Zadar's players were much more motivated during the first half. Grant scored no points in the first half, but he seemed to wake up in the second. Olympia's lead was melting away and the Croatian team even had a couple of opportunities to even the score. However, the green team once again found their three-point shot at the beginning of the final quarter. They ran away uh, with it and reached a resounding victory. This was the 8th ABBA League the game between Olympia and Zadar where the host took the win. Span and Lapornik scored 19 points each for Olympia. Reynolds finished his first ABBA League game with 9 points and 8 assists. In Zadar's team, Božić was the best with 20 points. FMP reached their second triumph of the season in Železnik, where they defeated Cibona 93-88. The team from Zagreb started the game strong and formed a double-digit lead during the first quarter. But the host leveled up their defense and after a 20-8 series ended the first part of the game in a two-point lead. Both teams fought hard, but neither could form a substantial lead during the second quarter. The halftime score was 44-41 with FMP in the lead. At the beginning of the second half, the host formed a good lead for the first time. Jeremic, who ended the game with six three-pointers, especially stood out in the part of the game, as did Rebets. Cibona scored only 10 points during the third quarter of the game, while their opponent scored 18. FMP had the game under wraps until three minutes before the end, but then it looked like the home team got scared by the prospect of winning. Sensing that, uh, the team from Zagreb used Markota and Uljarević to even the score. Cibona's young point guard made two shots in the final three seconds of the game to push the game into overtime. However, FMP got uh, their game back on the five added minutes. The key moment was when Bursać scored a three-pointer 1-45 before the very end. Apic and Jeremic scored uh, 25 points each for the winning team, while uh, Gilbert uh, scored eight less for the guests. The MVP of the round is the best player of the Bar Derby, Nemanja Vranjaš. 
Vranjus helped Mornar reach their first win of the season. He finished the game with 26 points, scoring all 5 of his 3-point attempts and 11 out of 12 free throws. As if that wasn't enough, he added 5 rebounds, 3 assists and a turnover for index value of 33. Iokea's Tomislav Zubčić had a higher score with an index value of 41, but his team suffered a defeat. The MVP of round 3 is Nemanja Vranjaš. Thanks for watching another edition of ABBA League magazine. See you again next week with the highlights from round 4.